Oh, that's good. Mm. Well, the weather cooperated for us. This is yeah, great. it's perfect. Yeah, this is um, what it's about. So, Bill, yeah. tell us, yeah. or Andrew, you tell us who our, our friends are today. Yeah. Well, we have Bill Keltica, and he's the vice chair, uh, vice commodore of the Cavasi Conti Yacht Club, and David Dennett, who is the commodore of the Yacht Club. This, this is your place, this yes. is your spot. Yes, we are here on this lake every day, every day of the year. And uh, right now is the payoff for being here all the time. How long have yeah. you been here? Uh, 16 years now, yeah. Cabo Sacanti. Exactly. But the young kids are saying the Cobb. The Cobb. <laughs> yeah, so those guys right. over there would call it the Cobb. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Locals um, kind of call it Cabo Oh, yeah. Cabo Okay. We'll okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, let's go check her out. All right. This is great. Let's go. So is this rare to have this view on a lake? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's probably the only active uh, lake lighthouse that there is in the state of Maine. Uh, in fact, one of the few in the country. So why here? It goes back to the 1800s. And the fact that this lake is very, very difficult to navigate. Early on, people found that the shoals, the, the, the rock ledges that are out in this area, are really difficult. And it was decided by a man by the name of Daniel Robinson and others on the lake back in those days, in the turn of the century into 1900, that let's build a lighthouse out here. And so they started construction of the lighthouse. Uh, in 1908, it was, it was completed, uh, turned over to the Yacht Club, which had begun in 1904. So tell me about this yacht club, those expensive dues. <laughs> yeah, $25 a year per family. And you're a member. I am a member. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. uh, you're yeah. not yet? No. Oh. <laughs> we, can, we can fix that. Sign yeah. me yeah, up. By the end of the day. <laughs> the most beautiful and uh, inexpensive <laughs> club to be That's a part right. Of. The yeah. short story of it all is the fact that, that we, we began as a yacht club but at the same time, we really have always been a lake association concerned about the welfare of the lake. Okay, you know? sure. And uh, I can remember the day former Commodore Hugh Stevens, who is now formally the keeper of our light. He was the Commodore for years. I can remember the day that he came to me and he said, David, so we've got to change that. We've got to fix that lighthouse, the list. So we need to raise money. And he says, it's going to take tens of thousands of dollars. And I think my initial reply was something in order of good luck. <laughs> I just, I couldn't see this happening. And then I was told about the generosity of Kennebec Savings Bank starting us off with five grand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and, uh, and that began. Yeah. And the momentum. money started flowing in. Uh, the cost of, of raising this, putting the new foundation in, then doing the Mark Newcomb top. Uh, tens of thousands of dollars raised and here we are and this is uh, this is now we hope gonna last for decades. Well, I've never been in, in so I want to hey, all right. <laughs> okay, well. So we're at the top of Ladies Delight Lighthouse on Lake Capasacati in Winthrop, Maine. Uh, it's just a gorgeous place to be. The lighthouse has been here for 110 years, built by the original Cabasacani Yacht Club. And we just recently put a new beacon inside uh, to be able to run it on solar power. The Cabasacani Yacht Club is charged with maintenance on the lighthouse, taking care of the lighthouse, and we've done many things over the years, such as straightening the lighthouse, putting a new top on it, and as well as the new beacon and power system for it.